So how can we activate a servo and control a servo with the photon? Um, we've got our, our three things, the particle IDE, the uh, GitHub site, and we're going to be working on AO9 servo. And a reminder, all these videos are on my playlist. Um, so here's the servo. I'm going to give you this. Chunk of code. Copy it. Um, I better make a new, create a new app, AO9-Servo, paste a bit of code, save it, um, make sure my photon is plugged in, and flash it. Let's have a look at some of this code, um, a little bigger so you can see it. Uh, the servo red wire goes 6 volt battery, servo ground goes to 6 volt um, battery negative. Um, the ground also has to go to the photons ground and the servo controller, which in our case is orange, but basically should be different than black and red, uh, goes to the photon. In this case, the A4 pin. I've got a couple of notes right here. Uh, PWM is a little bit, uh, well it's organized like this, it's either those pins or these pins, you can't mix and match, so you've got a possibility of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PWM pins. Um, this is a special, uh, just like integer or float or boolean, servo is a key word, I'm calling mine my servo. We're setting up my servo, we're attaching it to A4. I'm also setting D7 for output so I can flash it on. When we loop D7, we turn on. So after it flashes, it sets the servo to zero degrees, waits two seconds, sets it to 180 degrees, waits two seconds, sets it to 90 degrees, waits two seconds. And here's the first for loop. Uh, you set the my loop as an integer, uh, setting it at zero. It increases by 1 until it gets to 180. Uh, it writes that down. So this, this variable here is going to go 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, uh, 20 milliseconds in between. Uh, once that's done, uh, the servo is going to be at 180 degrees. We'll turn D7 off, wait 5 seconds, and then repeat the whole loopy thing again. Oh, here we go. It's breathing cyan. There we go to zero, then 180, then 90, then zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 180. D7 goes off. Until now, most of the assignments have been pretty easy. Uh, this assignment, though, once you got it working, how do you get this working with the web app? And the reason it's a problem is how do you pass this number and how do you get that command going. Don't forget you've got to set it up, you've got to do that. So this is a really good assignment, hard assignment, but you've got your um, you've got your web app. So this you're gonna have to change a little bit and this you're gonna have to change a little bit. Give it a try. I try to get my students to um, hook up a two-prong sensor as well to the servo, uh, say a flex strip. So when the flex strip bends, the servo moves. Um, the extra problem with that is how do you override the web app? Good assignment to do.